Right. Ah! Yes! Let's go! I am the flying nets. They, they really gotta fix that. Uh, so, hello, human dinosaurs. Yes, this is Lafo, and today we are back for another episode of Primal Carnage Extinction. So, we have a new update for Primal Carnage. So it's the Meltdown 2023. So the reason this update is pretty interesting is because the bow has an entire new overhaul. So they, they apparently made the bow much more easy to use, which is pretty interesting to see. Um, the T-Rex's tail has been buffed to be actually useful. And the one thing that I'm most used, uh, honestly, uh, the most I'm excited for is the Oviraptor buff. So the Oviraptor is, has like 50 more health and has faster attack. So that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be honest, I've never used a bow. I, I think I've used it like once. Ma yeah. Ah, come on. Oh my god. But the Orbeez have become so much more, more powerful now. I can't wait to play as one. So in options, there must be like a new bow settings, right? Yes, full power. Uh, let's do fast. There we go, you finally hit something, Lofo. That's progress. Come on. Ugh. So hard to aim with these things. Like, you have to charge it up to deal like such a small amount of damage. It's, it's, it's not even worth it. Come on. It's behind the tree, they're behind the tree. Ugh. Wow, the bow is so shit. <laughs> the bow is absolute trash. Right, there is a reason the bow used to be a secondary weapon game. Like, it is so weak! Like, it does the, uh, the fraction of a damage with twice the loading power. What's the point? Like, who uses this? Like, like genuine question. You use bow for the bleed? But if you're gonna go for the bleed, why don't you go ahead and just use the track rifle? The Trank Rifle already has DOT, and plus you don't have to charge it up. <laughs> Nobody, yeah, I, I would, I expected that. The next day. Yeah, about last time, uh, so remember when I said the bow was kind of shit because I didn't really see the point? It was essentially a weaker form of Trank Rifle. It's actually not really the case, and I'll actually tell you why today. The bow is not dog shit. It is just that the new controls for the bow was bullshit. You should have just used the good old controls for the bow. You need to get you need to just adjust yourself to the vanilla bow. Like that's that's the way you should be doing it. Right, because the new bow layout that you can change the settings and stuff, that's just bullshit. That's just bullshit. I would do not suggest using that. Oh my scientist. Yeah, why'd you do that? Right. Ah! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> I am the flying nets. They, they really gotta fix that. That, that just feels unnecessarily cheeky. It, it's, it's funny as hell when it happens to me, but it, I, I can see how it can be super infuriating for the other guy. Right, here I come! This is why I play as Koopa in this map. Ah, so refreshing. Jumping into a bunch of humans. Probably the best place to use Koopa hit. As long as you don't get your ass kicked. Okay, how did that not get hit? Well, I'm gonna die. Go, go, go. Magic! I live! I should not have said that! Unlike, okay, so 
Wait, arrows the Trank pistol, like not Trank pistol, the Trank's rifle does more bleed damage. Like, no, it, it does, it deals damage more easily. The, the bow in general deals more bleed damage. And it's hard to get rid of as well. Plus, it's actually got good range too, so. It's actually kind of viable. I hear the stomp, I'm gonna get eaten. What I do find kind of a shame is that it's really hard. Ah, and it's still hard to hit people that are close up. And for some reason, it never seems to do deep bleed damage when I when I attack a tyrant. I haven't really seen even if I get a bunch of headshots in, it never seems to do bleed. I don't know if that's intended or a bug. I've never been able to bleed out a tyrant. No matter how many shots I get into that guy's ass. That was good aim right there. Get in, get in, get in there before it gets me. Ah! You got me. Well, I was running low on ammo anyways. Yeah, that's the thing with the bow. If you keep shooting, you don't realize it, but yeah, ammo kind of depletes kind of quickly. But you usually die before you end up when that before that ends up happening, so really not much of a worry. And if you do die, well, I, I mean, you probably would have gotten some kills, right? You have like 31 arrows, like, like two of them bound to hit. Oh, come on! Seriously? Oh my god, they're coming for me. Run, help me, sniper! Yeah, you have good aim, right? Take him out. Oh my god, Lofo! Can't even hit that! Jesus Christ! Come on! Yes! I got 10 kills with the bow though, uh... Is that a lot? Nah, not really. But yeah, at least what I'm saying is that it, it's not shit, okay? It, it, it's a viable weapon. It's, it's, it's not... I wouldn't say it's a good weapon. Maybe not for me at least, but it's, it's useful. It's useful. I'm saying, I'm gonna say it's useful. Uh, let's see, let's see on this map, contingency. Come on! Right, thanks. How many arrows does it take? Ah, shit. Lofo, I always knew you were destined to be a failure, but still! Oh my god! These are large, slow targets moving around! How do you miss them? <sighs> Get that acro! He doesn't know what to do! You don't get to heal!
No healing for you, Acro. Come on. Fight me, you chicken-headed bastard. Ah! Come on. Yeah, eat. In your bottle. Die. Uh, who's next? I'm literally dressed in bright red. I I'm actually surprised that guy didn't see me. So I I'm assuming dinosaurs would be spawning over over on that side, so they must be climbing up, right? <laughs> How are they not seeing me? <laughs> what? Yes, thank you! <laughs> How did they not see me? <laughs> I was literally there the whole time! I, I said they'd be spawning there, but I literally didn't see that. I, I didn't think they'd just pass me. I was in bright red. <laughs> Jeez! Oh, I see you. <laughs> nice. Ah! Asshole! Ha! Ah, gotcha! No! Oh well. I tried. I tried. So guys, I think that's gonna be it for today, humans and dinosaurs. It was a kind of a short stream, but also I think it was filled with action. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you haven't, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, may the Jurassic Sprint be with you. Oh, bye-bye!